Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to this tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make your own Celebrity Apprentice poster in vector format. So I got this image offline, online, and I got it off the Celebrity Apprentice website. And if you googled Celebrity Apprentice, you will find this image. So you want to copy it and place it within your Illustrator artboard that you're going to be using and just kind of place it at the bottom. And we're going to get into how to, to make all of these parts of the poster. But first of all, we're going to need to find an image of Donald. So go ahead and Google Donald Trump. And I picked out this image. You'll find it online as well. Right click it, copy it. Open up Photoshop, a new document, and edit, paste him right in there. We want to zoom in. And the first thing that we want to use is our dodge and burn tool. And I'm going to use burn first. And I'm going to darken up certain parts of Donald. And these are the settings that I have right now. It's the, I'm using... 64% exposure within the midtones. So I'm going to darken up his his eyebrows and underneath his nose and his mouth is is important. Especially right in here. We can go around his his ears. And his eyes are really important to darken up. You can uh, darken up some of his his cheeks a little bit. Maybe some some parts of his hair. And what's also important is the highlights and low lights in his tie. You want to darken all this up. Nice. Open up this area along his neckline. Right in there. We like that part. Okay, anything else in that fitting? I'm gonna go to my dodge tool and lighten up some areas of his face here. Light areas on the tie here can lighten up. Maybe this spot right here. I think I'll use my burn tool one more time and go around the hairline here. This will make it easier to mask out as well. Because that's the next step. Okay. Now we want to mask Donald out. And we can just use our quick selection tool here first. I'm going to pause it here while I work on this. Okay, so I've got my, my Mr. Donald Trump masked like I want. So now I'm going to... I'll modify this a little bit and smooth it by three pixels. Let's see what that does. And I'll invert it. Control shift i and I'm going to delete it and see what that looks like. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, 
Okay, now I want to go to the back on layer and fill it with any color. It can be whatever. Blue, red, yellow. Now I can shut that layer off for a moment. We're going to work on our threshold. And what did I do? Okay, so I figured out what the problem was. You need to deselect your selections. So hit Control D. Go down to your adjustment layer. And with Donald selected, go to Threshold. And bump that up pretty good. About right there. Okay. Now go back to Donald, Command J. We want to duplicate him and bring this layer down. Nope. This entire layer right there. Now we want to go to threshold again for the new Donald. And let's bump it up just, just a little, about right there. Okay. And the reason we did that is because with this one bumped up to a higher threshold, it gave us a better outline around this area. So now we can turn that back on. We can leave it off for the moment. And let's merge these layers. Merge visible. Turn this one back on. Okay. Now we're going to control A. In fact, we can we can merge this as well. Merge visible. Control A, control C. Go over to Adobe Illustrator and let's paste it in. Okay, now we'll go down to Live Trace and Tracing Options. We want to do color and we're going to do three colors. Trace. Hmm. That doesn't look too great. Okay, so I figured out what I did wrong. You want to command Z that. Go back up to Live Trace, Tracing Options, and turn your preview on. And let's watch what we're doing this time. We want to go color again. And we want to go down to three colors. And let's... Crank that all the way down, and let's lower this. This is going to give us more, more precision in the features on his face. Okay, maybe go up one. Don't. There we go. Perfect. And go ahead and click Live Paint. Okay. Now we want to select the same, well, select the same. My goodness. Okay, I forgot to click expand. That will help you out. Select same fill color, which we should have the yellow selected. And we will delete it. Perfect. Now we have Mr. Donald. And he is grouped together. So we can move him off to the side for now. And let's bring your your JPEG image in. And we could pull that right down here. Let's um let's um 
pause it for now and you can go to video two.